Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I just wanna walk you through the garden and show you some of the things that are still in the garden after all of the hot months that we've had and uh, some of the things that have been taken out. So uh, welcome to my 2023 20, September garden tour. Okay, this is a tree that I recently purchased. It's a variegated lemon tree, and it seemed to have loved this hot, hot weather that we've had in the last month or so. It is looking beautiful. This is a bell pepper plant that I removed from one of my beds, and it went through a lot of shock once I moved it, but I think that it's gonna snap back. I took most of the leaves off of it. Well, it looked like maybe all of the leaves, except for very few. And um, I removed all the bell peppers from it so that it'll have a chance to snap back. And this is my turmeric. It's doing real well in this plant box that I put it in. It has a few little skull spots on the end, but uh, it's doing well. Y'all, this is the Fuyu persimmon tree that I purchased about a month ago and it's still holding on to those two persimmons. I don't wanna move them around too much, make them fall off. And this is a Moringa that I grew from seed. And y'all, this is only one season. I planted this last spring. And this is how Moringa trees grow. So. Go ahead and get you some Moringa seeds and get your Moringa trees planted. This is a blackberry bush you're still holding on. And right there is a tomato plant that I'm still letting grow because it still has tomatoes on it. Right next to it is a jalapeno pepper that is loaded with peppers. And this is a shishito pepper plant. And this is the first time that I've seen this plant that it was not loaded with peppers. So I guess it's beginning to uh, fade out. Then I got some tomato plants that are wrapped around each other in here. It's a sun gold tomato and a San Marzano tomato plant that they're all wrapped in together. And this sun gold is really putting off some beautiful fruit. And delicious. In the front of this raised bed, I have some parsley that has done wonderful all the summer long. And I have popped in some other plants into this bed. I did some brassicas. There's a broccoli plant that I put underneath those pepper plants and tomato plants so that it would be uh, in the shade and it's doing well back there. And there's a purple broccoli plant. I had a cabbage right there, but it don't look like it made it. So I had to pop in another one. Okay, moving to the next raised bed. This raised bed has some tomatoes also that are still bearing fruit, some jalapeno peppers that are still bearing. This is a bean that's hanging on for dear life, but it's gonna get pulled out if it don't do something real soon. And then I have a shishito plant over here that is loaded with fruit. I also popped in some um, brassicas over here. There's a cabbage right there. And right there, I popped in a celery. And these are some five gallon buckets that I have started potting up. I planted kale in this one. And this one still has a tomato that's holding on. And this one has a broccoli romanesto. And this one still is holding on to a pepper that I moved uh, probably about two or three weeks ago and it was in shock, but it now is beginning to look better and it even has some little flowers on it. So 
Look like it's gonna be okay. And in this pot, I have my celestial fig that I went ahead and potted up because it was in a pot, a five gallon bucket. And I went ahead and potted it up. And so it's beginning to look better already. Okay, here are one of my peach trees. This is a Granny Smith apple tree. Okay, and right here I have a pair of grapevines. There's one, and there is the other. I was looking at this one yesterday, and I saw some grapes at the bottom. They did not get that large this year, but it lets me know that it has potential. It does uh, put off some grapes. I want to find, oh, there they are. It does have the potential. It lets me know that it knows what it's supposed to be doing. So, put them up there. Something crawled up my arm that quick. Let me get that off. And here are two more peach trees. Okay, this bed is about to be cleaned out. It has a tomato plant which is a sun gold that has stopped bearing fruit and it is being taken over by a morning glory plant so I am going to get all of this cleaned out but the reason I haven't been messing with this bed so much is because there is a yellow jacket nest underneath it and so I was not uh, too uh, in too big a hurry to start fooling around with that Y'all, this is my purple lilac. It's still doing very good, but it did not bloom during the summer months. It's a spring bloomer, obviously. And, but it was very, very beautiful in the spring. It's one of my favorite plants in the garden in the spring. Y'all, and this is what the peanut bed is looking like. It's still very vibrant. Showing no signs of uh, dying back. Although it is getting close to the time for it to be harvested. And it is also loaded with the morning glory. So we see why they call it morning glory because it's bright and vibrant in the morning, but later in the day it'll close up. But look up in here. All those are mushrooms. Nope, we're not eating those, but they are mushrooms. That is a sign that the uh, soil is full of organic matter. Okay, this is our carrot bed. And we do have some germination. Those are the same ones, but you know I replanted this bed, so hopefully we'll be getting more germination soon. Right next to it is a rose bush that's not um, blooming right now, but it does have some buds on it. Y'all, I potted these, uh, planted these beds up. These are the beds that the yellow jackets were in that stung me. I planted some lacinata kale, some Bloomsdale spinach. The Bloomsdale spinach is over here, so this is a whole bed of spinach over here. So, got lacinata and Bloomsdale spinach finish in these beds. So these should be very, very pretty soon. There's a lot of green leaves. Okay, over here I've got that wheelbarrow that uh, this broccoli is from last season. So it's still growing. And I planted another broccoli right there next to it. And I planted some seeds over here some bok choy seeds. I just dropped some seeds and put that in there. And there was a cabbage there, but it's gone, it died, I guess. So I had to replant that. Okay, this is one of the new raised beds that I recently built and filled with soil. And I planted some carrots right there. I don't see any germination from the carrots. But these, I started from seeds. This is some Swiss chard, and so they're doing real well. And right here, I 
planted some uh, broccoli and I don't see anything from that, but I am going to just drop a broccoli plant there. And this one lacinata kale, it looks like it's doing real good. And then I have some more broccoli right here that I uh, put the plants in, I just that I started from seed. So they're doing real well. And this is the new raised bed that I put together and filled with soil. And right now it does not have anything planted in it. This container, I planted green onions in. This is where one of the tomato plants was. And I just took the soil and uh, added more soil and some fertilizer and dropped some green onion seeds. Right here is the brown turkey fig tree. And it is still bearing a lot of fruit. I ate one of these yesterday. So this is my sweet mint spruce tree. This is milkweed. This five gallon bucket has a tomato plant and a cucumber plant in it. Another cucumber and tomato plant, another tomato plant, tomato plant. There are two tomato plants back there and five gallon. There's a cucumber plant in this five gallon bucket with this tomato. I dropped some golden beets and some bok choy seeds in this planter. This is milkweed, raspberry butterfly bush, Cucumber and tomato in this five gallon bucket. <laughs> Blood orange tree. I started some leeks in these containers from seed. Right here I have two more moringa trees that I started from seed. I think I have a little of this for breakfast. Jalapeno pepper plant in this five gallon bucket. Fox gloves and hollyhocks in this container. There's a bell pepper plant and a chili pepper plant in this container. This bed has a lot of stuff planted in it. I planted a lot of different lettuces here. There's butter crunch, there's a red romaine, Paris Island, ruby red, and a black sea Simpson. Those are all the lettuces that are planted here in this area. Right here, I have a bell pepper plant. This is a jalapeno plant. There is a banana pepper plant back there. I popped in some broccoli right here. So it'd be shaded by these plants. Got an eggplant right there, tomato plant. Got some zinnia, another tomato plant right here. Oh, I didn't mention my, my leeks right here. Got some leeks. And this eggplant just sprung up. And then I have another one that's Bring it up right there. So this plant is uh, reproducing right here. Planted some broccoli right there, but I don't see it. I'll pop in another one. That's what I do. I just keep popping them in. If they die, I just pop another one in. There is a broccoli right there that I popped in. And it's being shaded by these plants. We got some eggplant over here. I don't know what this is. It's probably a weed that I just need to pull out of there. But a lot of times I pull stuff out, I think it's a weed, then I realize later on there was something else. I find a label or something. I was like, oh, the, that was that was. Y'all, my Japanese maple has been struggling in the heat, but hopefully it'll bounce back. I'll give it some um, fishy motion today. And y'all, these are the cuttings that I took of the, well, I was given these cuttings by a friend. And so I don't know what's going on with them. So y'all that have done the cuttings, they looking kind of dead, but um, 
I don't know. Like I told you, if first I don't succeed, I will try again, but I'm going to continue to just leave them like that, keep them watered, and try not to overwater them, because I think that could be what, well, I, I was overwatering them because we weren't getting any rain, but now we started to get some rain. So, um, this is a clematis or clematis that I dug up that I had some years ago, and I dug it up and put it in there, so it's trying to snap back. So, soon, maybe this spring, I'll get a trellis and put it on so that it can be productive and enjoy itself climbing up. This is one of my jackfruit plants, and it's got something else that's in here with it, robbing it. I don't know what that is, let's see. Well, it's not labeled, so this is the jackfruit. This is just one, I don't know. I have to look and see how many more I have, but I am going to uh, start treating them better to try to see if they're gonna do anything in this area. This is something I planted, I can't remember what it is. I don't have a label for it. Um, I think it looks like a, a Russell Lupin, Lupin, but I'm not sure. Y'all let me know if y'all know what that is. If it's a weed, I'll pull it. And these are some pumpkins that I started. I don't know what to do with these because y'all, after dealing with those squash bugs, I don't think I want to plant no pumpkins right now. And here's a tomato in a five gallon bucket. I don't know what I'm waiting on to pull it. I just don't know, but I guess I will go ahead. Probably just didn't have time. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because it's not bearing any fruit anymore. And y'all, this is uh, my seedlings. This is some uh, rutabagas. This is some uh, white kohlrabi, some uh, celtus, which is Chinese lettuce. Uh, also have been called Chinese asparagus, I think. And uh, these just need to start getting popped in. So I got that uh, new raised bed. I'll start popping some of these in there and some in some other places. And this is where I planted some more broccoli and some Brussels sprouts and some purple broccoli. So I've got some germination over here. So I'll go ahead and start getting these popped in. This is where I just got some extra little uh, pots. And right here is some uh, red beets. So I'll go ahead and pop those in. Y'all had some red beets yesterday that were freeze dry. Y'all, okay, this is going to be a game changer, y'all. We need to start putting our pennies together to get freeze dryers because freeze dryers make the food delicious you can get your kids to eat any type of vegetable if you freeze dry i mean any type beets my kids was uh eating that those beets those carrots all that was freeze dry so get a freeze dryer yeah i'm telling y'all i'm telling myself too because i want one so so bad those freeze dry uh foods are delicious we had some freeze dried green beans carrots uh I, I don't know what all that was. Something purple. I got it at my favorite store. But, y'all, it's going to be a game changer once we start freeze drying this food. And you can put it anywhere. You can put it in uh, containers and um, in your uh, five-gallon buckets. And you have perfect food stores. And it's like eating snacks. It's like eating chips. It is so delicious. So y'all, let's try and get some freeze dryers. Let's let's uh, that's that's the thing now. That's gonna be the thing. Freeze dry your food. So um, see how easy I get distracted, y'all. Okay, <laughs> this is some cauliflower. I need to go ahead and get these plants. You got some cauliflower, some cauliflower broccoli. Let's see, there's nothing in that one. This one is broccoli. I think yeah, it's broccoli. So yeah, we're gonna uh, get these all potted up really, really soon. I'm, hey, I'm, those beets were so delicious, freeze dry. I might have to plant some more beets because yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna get this freeze dry, but I'm fixing to get a freeze dry sooner, sooner than later. Okay, y'all, this is my um, what is this purple kohlrabi, and see all these things that may have been what that was it was something purple that was in there it could have been some purple potatoes whatever it was it was so delicious and um uh these are some chives i got one chive that had popped through the soil i was just saying the other day that i didn't have any i guess that's a chive i don't I hope it's not just grass oh no grass shouldn't be growing in there like that 
Okay, and right here I have some uh, celery plants that are growing. So these are looking really, really nice right there. You see these little tiny celery. Yeah, so I can go ahead and pop those in somewhere. Okay, so here is a rose bush that um, is looking really good. The, the leaves look so healthy on this rose bush. Next to it is raspberry plant. Y'all, leaves have fallen all over my ceilings, but right here I have some uh, cabbages still, and all over the cabbages. So I need to go ahead and get those potted out. I need to get them out this water because it rained a lot yesterday, so they're sitting in water. So I'm just gonna take them and sit them on the ground for right now so they can drain. I'll save that water to pour on some plants. Okay, you all, this is my strawberry bed. You remember I told you about the chickens got in here and were pulling up my strawberry plants and I uh, got in here and I was looking for my plants to see how many I had left. I didn't see very many. So what I did yesterday is I poured some more soil in here and I planted turnip greens in this area. Right here is the turnip greens. And then down there, I planted some mustard greens. So we're gonna have more and more greens. And this is the bed that my potatoes were in. And I poured more soil over here and I planted some, these are some broadleaf mustards right here. And I think this is all broadleaf mustard greens. And y'all, there is germination on these mustard greens. So uh, hopefully this weather go ahead and cool down some and we'll have some mustard greens soon. In this container, I have some more sweet mint and I gave it a hard cut recently. And so it is growing back. Okay, right here, this is my asparagus bed. Look like I see one tiny asparagus down there. I don't want to break my top off because that's the main delicious part. Yeah, it's not that big, but it's big enough. Yeah, it's delicious too. Okay, back to work. Okay, so we have a lot of asparagus ferns in here, and you can see these little seeds are on there. If you can see those seeds, that is where your seeds are. Okay, and on the here I see there is one y'all let got away. That asparagus right there. That one has got away. It's not it's not completely gone. I wonder how one tastes is like this. Tastes good. Hmm. It was real good. Even though it had gotten big like that. Yeah, I like that. And there are a lot of ferns in here. And I also have a pepper plant in here. I don't see any peppers on it right now. I have to go to the other side. And there is a... Wait a minute, y'all. There's some more asparagus in here. Well, I'm supposed to be doing a tour, not collecting all this, but these are so so skinny. Well, this one not that skinny. I'm gonna leave them, y'all. I'm gonna let them go ahead and and grow up. I miss those. So y'all, we had a, a nice little asparagus uh, growth spurt in here. First of September. I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna leave them. I think. Okay, I'm thinking hard about it. I might come back to them, but right now I'm going to check to see if there are any peppers on this plant. And y'all, it's been fun having this um, ground cherry plant in here, but I think that it's coming to the end of its cycle also. And I know it will come back in the future. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to leave its root in there. 
Just leave the root in there and just start. Is it? That broke off so easy. Because this plant is taking over. I mean, it's going all up into my ferns. So I'm not worried about that. But it's uh, smothering out this little poor pepper plant. Got it all laid over there. And so I'm going to uh, start to removing this plant today, this uh, ground cherry. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to remove the entire plant. I'm going to just start cutting it back. I'm going to let it see if it can put off some more ground cherries because we do enjoy those. But no, the pepper plant does not have any peppers on it. But I think this pepper plant is about to come to the end of its cycle because it was putting off some large peppers, but now it's putting off these really, really small peppers. And they're finished because they're red. I've been still collecting them, though. Yeah, I've been harvesting them anyway. Okay, and this plant has some nice jalapeno peppers on it. It is loaded. So I'll give it a couple of days, and then I'll come and harvest some of those. And I'm still harvesting these little purple peppers also. There's some back in there. I'm still harvesting these. And there is a pepper plant right there. And that is my uh, black cream tomato plant that seems to have stopped bearing because I did a real hard cut on it. So I don't see any tomatoes on it. And then there is a shishito pepper plant right there. And another pepper plant right here. And y'all, this is the bed that I recently planted some uh, purple mustards in, some uh, broadleaf mustard and some turnips in. So I do see some germination in here, but y'all, these weeds are beginning to uh, try to take over again. So I will be coming out. Hopefully I get a chance to come out and do this today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. I got a lot of things to do but um there is some good germination on those greens in here and you all know that these greens when, when they start growing they don't care about these weeds but uh, i am going to go ahead and get them out because i don't want to be out here harvesting greens and pulling weeds i don't want to want to have those weeds in my way okay so here are my uh two more rose bushes that one don't have any roses on it right now, but it has been so beautiful all summer long. I just came and deadheaded it a few days ago so it can keep blooming the way that it has been because I was getting a lot of compliments on that. And here is another red rose, and it's doing well. And here is my lemon tree that is uh, seeming to be doing well, you all. I don't know if what it's going to do. You remember, I uh, had to cut it all the way back down to the graft union, and it started uh, putting out more, so I don't know what's going on with this plant, but it does uh, have the thorns and everything. It's looking the way that it's supposed to be looking. I don't know if it's ever going to bear any fruit, and this one here is the one that I started from seed, so you know, you know what they say about those, so just gonna leave it there and okay this is my weeping flower tree and you can see that it's weeping and y'all as i told you in the previous video it barely has any leaves left on it and so it but it does have a flower on it so that is a good sign that lets me know that it is not dead here's the other one and it's looking much better and i keep saying i'm going to move these back to the original spot. But this last storm, they did not fall over. So maybe they're getting uh, bigger where they can hold up. I don't know, but they did not fall over in the last storm. Okay, y'all, we can't do a tour without stopping over here and saying hi to these girls and guys, cause they're being real quiet right now. I guess they're just happy that today is cooler 
after the rain, it is. It's very, it's nice out here today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's real nice. So we're gonna have to get in here and, um, oh, I see why they're quiet. Okay, so now that's what they were quiet about. The rain had got in, had got their food wet, and they couldn't enjoy their food. So now I pour some of the water off because I don't plan on wasting that food, y'all. Pour some of the water off. So they still got wet food at the bottom, but when the sun comes out really hot today, it will dry that up and they'll still be able to pick at it. Because if I pour it out somewhere, it's only going to cause some rats or some other rodents to start trying to come around and try to eat it. So this way I'll just keep it in their containers and they can still enjoy as it dries. And I just pour some dry food on top. So that may not be what you would do, but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll go get them some fresh water, pour that rain water out of their water bowls. Y'all, let's check on my friend in here. My Brody chick. Let's make sure she's okay. It's okay. I can check to see how many eggs I've got. I didn't bring anything out here to get them. Make sure there's no predators out here. There are three eggs right there. My daughter likes to collect the eggs, so I'll probably just let her come on and get them. Oh, the wind really blew everything around in that last storm because this, uh, whew, what is that thing? Something flew out. I guess I'm gonna have to stop just come up here grabbing on these plants like this until I check them out. But something flew out of there. I don't know if it was a wasp or a yellow jacket or whatever it was. It went on about its business. So I am going to, um, see if I can throw this back. This is, see, this is the um, ground cherry. Another ground cherry over here this uh rampant so i am going to have to come and remove some of this because see there's a lot of stuff underneath here um it can be shading out some stuff true but uh it's doing some other things also let me see if this ground chair is any good it hasn't hit the ground yet but uh, no it's green so i'll throw it in there so to make more but okay this is these are well i planted some green onions but these are not green onions this is some grass i need to get that out but it's hard to pull um, to, yeah it's kind of hard to pull right now but um i planted some golden beets here i just dropped some golden beet seeds I dropped some deal seeds. No, I don't think I dropped deal seeds. I think that's an old, yeah, that's old. I pulled that out. This is some green onions. This one is a cauliflower that's in here. And way back there, oh, I gotta get in here. That is a celery. Yeah, it's celery. There's a celery right there. So it is being shaded by this huge ground cherry. There is a tomato plant right there that I have been cutting on. This is the basil that I have cut on so much, but it is still beautiful. It is still putting off new growth. See, is that a bug? Oh, that's not a bug. Y'all know I was thinking about eating some. I don't want to eat no bug. I haven't sprayed anything over here, and we just had a huge rain, so, yep, that was delicious. Got some uh, jalapeno peppers back there. Okay, some bugs flying around. Some kind of bug flying. Black, a bee. And there are some more peppers back there. I got some fruit back there that fell on the ground. I need to get up so I'm gonna track any pests. I can get it and give it to the chickens. I 
And I, I don't, let's see, I see some mushroom. I don't need to be sticking my hand back in here trying to get no ground here, y'all, because it's laying on the ground. I just want to see. Is this right? I'm going to be mad. Not Make sure it don't have no bug or anything in it. It's kind of, it look kind of suspect. Yeah, it got a hole. Y'all see that hole? It got a hole in it. Yep, to the chickens it go. The chickens gonna have to reach for it because I threw it right on the outside. She trying to get it too. Poor chicken. She couldn't even find it. Yeah, that was funny. Let me go. Let me see. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there and give it to her because she tried so hard to get it. Here you go, girl. There you go. Now it's like they play football for it. One get it and run with it and the rest of them chase after. Till they see that she done ate it. And then they give up. Hey tiny. Kind of made him think he had something. He started pecking at a leaf. He'd get those girls' attention. Y'all, and this eggplant bush is just loaded. So I need to uh, get ready to start harvesting. Cause y'all know I like to get them when they're kind of small. But it is loaded with eggplant. A lot of them are real, real small, but I'll leave them for a couple more days. They gotta come back and get them. There's probably one, there's one or two underneath there. Ow! Yeah. Oh, something stuck me. I never knew an eggplant had a sticker, but something stuck me like a sticker on something when I reached to get that eggplant. I don't, I don't see nothing underneath there, no. Nothing that could have bit me. That just teaches me don't stick my hand in there like that. And then I'm ready to stick my hand there again, pull this other eggplant. See, I pulled that one out so it can hang over the side instead of being laying, just laying in that dirt like that. Yep, something, something pricked my finger. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on there. I guess I'm okay. I see a fig that I'm thinking about eating. I don't want nothing else to get it. I might leave it for one more day. But I'm looking for something to snack on. I think I'll get a couple of these tomatoes. Snack on those. Y'all, I showed you all in a previous video where we're going ahead and we're pulling out these purple hull peas. So this is what it's looking like so far. You all can see that I need to go ahead and harvest this okra because it is about to get big. I got one big one right here on the end. So I am going to harvest this okra as soon as I finish with this garden tour. But this is what the okra plants are looking like right now. So it is still going strong. And I told you all that my son got the lawnmower hung up over here and so y'all this looks like a good little planting spot right here though i might not even put no more plastic on this spot i might just go ahead and plant right let's see because it one time oh yeah y'all this soil let me see y'all i done got excited now i'm about to end this video and start planting i dropped my shovel let me see now this had boxes cardboard boxes down too but y'all, I think I got some good soil. And I see, I see my native soil right there. Y'all, I think this is going to be a spot. I'm just going to cut it out. Because you know, I told you, I already had some beans planted out here. And y'all, they have not made their appearance yet. And you know what? This might end up getting some brassicas. Because I am tired of waiting on those beans. I planted and replanted those beans. I don't know what the problem is. If they want to come up and wrap themselves around a cabbage or a broccoli, that's fine. But I am about to uh, plant something over here. I need to see something in this space. And I am going to, I think, 
just trim this up. Probably won't even trim it up. Just go ahead and just play around the edges and just fill this spot up. I got a bag of potting soil that I could come over here and pour in this spot right here and add some uh, fertilizer to it and just go ahead and plant this spot up. Let me see. I'm going to look really hard to see if I see any bean germination. I do not see any bean germination. That is not any right there. That's something the wind blew in. And see, there, there are the, my seeds st steadily on the top. Seeds not getting... I put those seeds back in there so many times. I don't know if the birds coming and getting them or what is going on. But I'm going to put something in there that will hold up. I need something in there that will grow. So we're going to be working on that in the next video probably. Okay, and this is what my sweet potato bed is looking like right now. You all know I went ahead and I poured another bag of potting mix on top and I added some um, fertilizer to it and gave it a couple more weeks because I was about to harvest it, but I changed my mind and decided to give it a couple more weeks. So this is what it's looking like right now. And uh, we got a couple of rains and the uh, plants have uh, revitalized. And so we're just gonna uh, play it by ear. Once those plants completely die back, then I'll go ahead and I'll harvest these sweet potatoes. Okay, so over in this raised bed, I have my jalapeno pepper plant and there are uh, some tomatoes planted in here this is a triple crop that has done excellent this year and it is about to fade out I planted some bok choy down in here and they have seemed to have died so I will be putting some more bok choy in there and there is a rosemary plant back there. This is another tomato plant and it is a, let's see, which one is this? I think this is the early, no, this is the San Marzano tomato plant right here. And then I have some uh, bell peppers right here. Have some chili peppers that are ready to be harvested. And there is a banana pepper plant in this bed also. Right here is a gala apple tree. This is a Georgia peach tree. Then I have my matching arcs on the end of these this fence. And this one is not looking so great. I think it may be suffering from the heat. And this is a plum tree. This is the Lufa. And it has gotten all wrapped up into this plum tree. This is my muscadine grape. And the grapes didn't get that large on this muscadine, but y'all, I've been eating them. And they are delicious. They are sweet. And very delicious. Now I'm just throwing the seed back onto the plant. Right here is my blackberry, and it is climbing over this trellis. This is the container that I had my sunflowers in and now the sunflowers have been removed and the zinnia was waiting to take their place. Yeah, I'm about scared to grab hold of something because after sticking myself with whatever it was I got over there but I, these are so beautiful I had to touch them. Yeah look at this one. Okay this is my purple butterfly bush. Another rose bush. Okay, this is my herb garden bed. Still got some uh, sweet basil in here and some uh, thyme. I planted some cilantro right here. I still don't know what this is. This is some sage. This is marshmallow. I planted 
some parsley right here, chamomile right here. This is my purple basil. I planted purple bar, uh, pars uh, no, curly parsley right here and some dill right there. That's some more sage. Right here is my improved Meyer lemon tree and it is still hanging on to all of its lemons. And it's getting some more leaves that are coming on. So it's enjoying the heat. Recently did a really hard cut on this verbena so they can put out some new leaves. Okay, right here are my pair of blueberry plants. There's one right there and it's looking really good. And here is the other one. It's looking good also. Here is another peach tree. This is another blueberry bush, a different variety. And it is in here with some gladiolas that I need to take out. These two pots each contain a ground cherry plant. And this bed is loaded with tomatoes and peppers. This uh, is a shishito pepper plant. Here is a jalapeno pepper plant. And there are some early girl tomatoes. And down below I planted some green onions, bok choy. And I had a cabbage in there, but it seemed to have died. So I will be replanting it. So I hope that you all enjoyed this garden tour today. And I hope that you would give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. Go ahead and hit the notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.